welcome back to Let's Play Breath of Fire 3. We're back on this damn ship in Steel Beach. Yeah. Well, as screwed up as this whole situation is, you know, crossing the whole damn ocean, only to be thrown back across in a matter of seconds, it does uh, give us a bit of an opportunity, because it introduced us back into the portal drive system. Apparently the portal drive system works on that side of the ocean as well, and we can use this ship here, the portal drive on this ship, to put us on the other side of the ocean. So not only take us back to where we were, but even further. That's what we have to figure out how to use. But before I trudge deeper into the ship on Steel Beach, there's a couple of things that I want to go around and check out. I want to go and uh, head back to our masters, the people that are training our characters, and, well, uh, see what they have for us. First one I'm going to go visit is Deus. Remember the half-slug lady? Well, I... Off camera, I went and employed her as a master of Pico. Gonna go back there and see if she has anything for us. Remember, after you gain so many levels, then you get new abilities from these characters, and that's what I'm going for. Pico learned Blizzard. Now, Blizzard is a powerful ice spell. It attacks all of the enemies. Alright, now that's out of the way. We can head over to... Uh, oh, do it again just to check to see if she has another one. Nope. She's got nothing. Uh, let's get out of here. Now, Deus has some of the most powerful spells in the entire game. I would recommend, if at all possible, to get Deus as a master, and then stick it on a character that you're not necessarily fond of. Like, the reason why I gave her the Pico is because Pico isn't that 
a character that I'm going to use very often, so I sort of sacrificed Pico for the greater good. Because the uh, the stats that, that Deus changes when you level up, a little bit inconvenient, but the spells she gives are so damn nice that you can... Especially if you take these spells and you transfer them over to Nina, who has the has the AP to back it up. It's a really good move. Okay, now this guy was uh, Ryu's master. Ryu's master. Chain form. Ah. Uh, chain form is a very useful battle formation. Very different than the ones you're used to. See, so check this out. Chain. All members are equal to the speed of the one in the front. Now, since Ryu has a speed of 30, which is only one point above the other two characters, and he is in the front, that will mean that all of the characters now have the speed of 31. Now, let's say we go and we take Ryu, who has a speed at this point in the game, probably like a 35 or so, and we have Gar in the group at the same time. Gar has a speed of maybe 8. Whole lot slower. But he makes up for it with strength. Now we use the chain formation. And you put Ri in the front. Now Gar, with all of his power, now has a speed of 35. Incredible speed from this one character. I mean, it's... it's uh, Obviously, depending on your what characters you have and how you organize your formation, it's going to vary in effectiveness. Like, if you put Gar in the front, then Ri would be going as slow as Gar. It's a terrible idea to do it like that. Ordinarily, if you were to play through the game without altering the stats by using items or masters or anything like that, Ri will be the fastest, and then Nina will be the second fastest. So, usually you're going to want either one of those two to be the one you have in the lead. I've boosted Ryu's speed quite a bit, so he will oftentimes be the fastest. At one point, he was actually faster than Ryu. I don't think so right now. Now we're going to check on the fairies. Three new fairies. And built a new room. That means the building phase of building the fairy village is complete. Look at this. Extra room. Look at that. It's complete. We do not have to have any more fairies dedicated to building new rooms. So we can go down there and take all the fairies off of room building and go put them to more important tasks. See what kind of new merchandise. You've got new merchandise. Tiger's Cap. Very useful item. Not the best in the game, but it's getting pretty close. It not only gives you good defense, but it also increases your power by, by, by I think, five points. Something you're going to want to buy if you have the money. Soul Gem. Saves you wear from death. I don't really buy those because, you know, they cost a lot of money. 3,000 zenny. And they're not going to, and they can only use them once. Once you die, it's over with. And then here are the gift givers. Firecracker, not really that great of an item. Probably not going to use those. Just remember that you could probably look it up on your own because I can't remember the numbers. But if you get into seven battles, you get a fish head, which increases your intelligence. Some another number of battles, you will get a life shard, which increases your HP by one. And another some amount of battles, you'll get a swallow eye, which increases your agility by one, which is incredibly useful. I'd recommend finding that out and getting as many swallow eyes as possible. That's why Ryu has, uh, why technically, why usually my Ryu character is so damn fast, is because he gets all these Swallow Eyes used on him, and he goes incredibly fast, and that way I can have a fast party without having to have Ryu in the party. Now, we have all the rooms done, we can try the new Explorer move, where you go and, uh, it requires strength, something that none of these fairies have. That'll do. This one wanders off for a few days, finds something, and brings it back and gives it to you. A little bit like the gift thing, only, uh... Well, I don't know. I'm not sure what kind of items you get from the Explorer. 
I think it's a little more random. We could pull all these ferries off of the build section because they don't can't be building anything more. There's nothing left to build. We pull the weakest ferry off of the hunt. Wow, I did a lot of really weird stuff here. If you think a ferry is basically useless for everything, go take that ferry and put that in the gift-giving section, because it doesn't really require a ferry to be capable of anything to give presents away. Now we have a new shop, the Antique Shop. This one doesn't sell things, it only buys things. And you remember all these items that we were finding through the game that, that uh, the description was, appears valuable? That is exactly what you sell here, because unlike normal shops which will buy them for like a small amount of money, a couple of, uh, like, 100 or 200 zenny or 5 or in some cases, you tend to sell these a lot more you sell them for a lot more, you can get a lot more money. So save up all the items that appear valuable and sell them once you get the antique shop. And you'll get a nice boost to your money. Then it'll probably be the only time you use the antique shop. So you can change it over to doing something else. Now this game is the, the shop is the casino. Unfortunately the casino games are not very fun. So I'm not going to show you that. It's just a waste of time. Now we're done with the ferries, and we can move on and head back over to the cargo ship. So, um, I'll see you there. Okay, here we are again. I've swapped out my characters for some of the lower level characters. And uh, here we go. Now the enemies you're going to fight up until uh, the next uh, area. This room you're not going to find any enemies. I'm just going to read the same thing that it said before on the panel there, and stepping back into the portal drive won't work. The machine's broken. In this area right here we're in right now, you'll fight the same kind of enemies that you were fighting before, the bolt enemies, the little dudes with swords and arrows, the irritated little bastards that are hard to hit. Which is good to have Nina around because she can use her lightning spells to take them out. You're also going to find these insector guys. They are, uh, well, they're bugs, and use wind attacks on them. Because they're, I guess, bugs don't like wind attacks, even though they appear to be using them themselves. Oh, wow. For some reason I used lightning. 
Now here's Blizzard. Use that uh, attack I got from Deus. You should probably give it to Nina, but uh, I forgot to and I left it on Pico. You also don't want to burn away all of your skillings for only transferring one one uh, spell. You want to wait till you have a few of them. Ha! Look, they're uh, cannibalizing each other for HP. Well, down goes Pico. Oh, that really didn't do a lot more damage than the lightning, did it? Ah, he's out of AP. Did a lot more damage in the first battle against a real enemy in this section. I wasn't really doing that good, was I? Okay, now this is an irritating little room here. It's a puzzle, but it's not a very hard puzzle. It's more of a, you pull these different levers to go into these different rooms. But only one room will actually lead you to the, the area that you need to get to in order to continue on with the story. The other ones just lead you to rooms with treasures and stuff. Now, as good as those treasures are, there's a, a really... It takes a really long time to go and get all of them. And I think this episode is going to end up taking too long anyway, so I cut those treasures off and just showing you the way to actually get to the other side. See, you press, press these levers and the different pathways open up. Now you click those two and it allows you to get all the way to the other side. These I-beams raise up and you can walk across them. But, oh, damn, screwed, screwed this one up. That one at the top, that, uh... That one didn't go, so I have to head all the way back down and flip one switch. It'll be the brown one at the top. See the color? Corresponds with the color on the I-beam. So now all these that aren't brown, well, they stay up. Now we'll head back over here and go across. Now different combinations allow you to go into different doors, different doors take you to that treasure chest up there. I got it. I just didn't take the time to show you how I had gotten it. Uh, um, there are online guides all over the place that'll tell you specifically which combination to go do to get all of those different items. Here's a puzzle here. This is probably the easiest puzzle, well, not the easiest puzzle in the game. See what happens? You step on these platforms and it, oh, look at that. It takes you all your job is to get to the center. Easy enough. Let's go do that. Go take this. Ride this one across. Why the three of us can't split up and each one of us take a different platform, I don't know. That would even make it easier. But these other two apparently don't have independent minds. Now you see what I'm doing here? I'm building up this uh, pathway so we can get one in the center that I can take and just ride over. I got it all set up. All I need to do is bring this one platform all the way around the outside. And the link up with the other two and it will be in a perfect position to move on into the center. Oh, this is taking forever, isn't it? Doesn't seem like it's taking forever when you're actually playing it, but when you're watching it, it seems like it takes forever. Okay, now that one is in position. Now we can ride that one to the center. Why a ship would be set up like this, I have no idea. All just to unlock a door. What kind of security system is that?
Don't worry about getting involved in fights here. There aren't going to be any fights. Out here there will be. There's nothing here. I walked into this room by accident. There's a treasure chest on that lower platform. We'll get it on the way back. Oh! That's a nice new weapon. That's a sword for Ryu. It uh, gives you electric attacks. It slows you down, but it's a pretty good increase in speed. And plus, a lot of the enemies you're going to be fighting in this area are robots. And robots are weak against lightning attacks. So you don't have to, but I'm going to equip it and go on. Also, I'm going to uh, put Tico in the lead, because he's the fastest character. Oh, I kind of expected Nina to be the fastest, but whatever. Put Pico in the lead of the battle formation, of the chain formation, remember that. So that our speed doesn't really decrease that much, but Ryu's attack power gets a pretty substantial move. What was I thinking, attacking like that? Remember, lightning attacks are good against robots. They also tend to confuse them. See this? Oh! He just attacked the wrong enemy. Sweet. Look more of these damn codger guys all over the place. They weren't just at the colony. Apparently they... I don't know, maybe they used a portal drive or something. Who the hell knows? Oh, great. Left it up to Nina to kill him. Ha! <laughs> Look at that. Every once in a while, he'll lose a turn. There'll be a boss later on in the game that has the same problem. And it'll probably be the only reason why you're able to survive the fight against him. Leech Power, that spell that Nina just got up with her level. That takes... AP from the enemy and gives it to Nina. Unfortunately... It is almost useless, just like a lot of the other Nina's little other things. It's almost useless because she can't, uh... <laughs> it doesn't, it misses all the time. Now this new lacquer shield, it's a nice new piece of armor, but it slows Ryu down too much and it makes him lose physical power. Now I've slowed Pico down so he's on the same, he's on par with Nina. That's probably the reason why he was faster. He didn't have modern armor on him. A little bit of a quick cut. I was heading in the wrong direction there. Now we'll head up this direction. Get involved in the battle where Nina gained another level, giving her a pretty good speed advantage over Pico. So I'm going to go mess this around a little bit and put Nina in the lead. Because remember, it's important to have the fastest character in the lead when you're using chain formation. Oh, treasure chest. We'll get that later. Or I may get that on the way back. But this is the direction you need to go. Outside. And here we go. Outside again. And there's a ladder over here up to another satellite dish. Now here's a, the simplest puzzle in the game. You just turn the satellite dish around. You just spin the satellite dish around until all the static goes away, and you get that Sputnik signal in. See, it went too far. Too much? Nope. There we go, that's perfect. BAM! Look at that! Now, the portal drive works. The only issue is getting back there. Don't worry too much about it. Uh, the first time I played through this game, I had a bit of a problem because I had basically gotten my ass handed to me on the way up there. Even though there were no boss battles. I'd gotten up there and activated the portal drive, but my characters were beaten up. They were almost dead. I didn't have any more healing items. I didn't stock up before I went. It was such a hassle trying to get back. 
Skill link. Very nice. Such a hassle trying to get back. I almost died. Or maybe I did. I can't remember. But it was a... A long, hard fight trying to get back. But it's not going to be a problem now because... I'm much better at it than I used to be. Notice Nina in the lead of the chain formation. Even though I didn't show you the battle. It would kind of be nice, though, if they didn't make you backtrack across the entire dungeon just to get out. I mean, most games of, uh, most RPGs, you know, from Final Fantasy VII onward, did not require you to backtrack across the dungeon while getting out. Once you got out of the dungeon, the exit on the other side would take you to the next part of the game you needed to get to. Unlike this one here, where... You travel into the dungeon, and then you need to turn around and come back out the way you came. And there are a surprising number of these dungeons in this game that require you to do that. Some of them you don't. You don't know, it's not like you always have to. But I mean, both times we've had to go into this ship, you had to turn around and go out the way you came. It's just a pain. Okay, now we can activate the portal drive. Where am I going to set this up to? Let's go to Container Yard. That looks like a nice place. Let's step into the portal drive, and it will take us away to the end of the episode. Ta-da!